On the basis, we don't show again another brand new Ororo day because today, get the way today be. I do want to talk at today be, but something inside my mind tell me say make I not talk because I just believe say uh, even if the country tough, let the poor breathe. We go must breathe whether they like it or not. I just want to encourage somebody out there, not give up, shall. Um, life still plenty, we plenty, plenty muscle. Anything we make you want to stop, remember say there's always a call. Still look calm. Hope day. Anyway, no, not be that kind of hope. The genuine hope we come from above. Now that one, I tell you so. <laughs> anyway, we don't show that visa. We don't show this. Now was Zobia Max TV, and we do on top of the GMNS Extra. Anytime you hear Extra, may you know say we don't come come give you bigger and better. Now so it be for ya. My name is Tiremen Ochuko Omiragua. Now me be the man. We say make it be like that for national peace, equity, and justice to reign based on tradition. Igwe, 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 Igwe. I don't show now, I don't show a pin like pin a four. They may not be like say I to talk. May not be like say they call shoot, but mama call discharge the picking. I go jump at one small chickily break. Go take my balloon more juice, mix out with all that juice. Take breath through so that when I show back, not to jump at the matter, matter this we'll get today. Not go anywhere at all at all because I is coming back. <laughs> Welcome back again. We still there here. Yeah, we not they go anywhere because we be all bad. We not they go transfer. We day yeah. Anyhow you think um, we they bring a call give you. And days like this are they always they happy because the reason why they happy be say anything we find they make me happy. Uh, yes, yes. Anything we find they make me happy. Today we carry one matter when it be like say nine be the hmm, the new money spinner for Nigeria. When I say money spinner, I know say entertainment now don't go another level. Nothing come. Even in the countries like America, we never get this kind of crude we get here, say. The kind of money that they make from Hollywood for there not be beans, better bread. But for inside Nigeria, we want to look at why it be our entertainment here, especially our Nollywood. Not they make that kind of bogey. Not they make that kind of akpalakpala. Not they make that kind of bar. But today we get one veteran for the industry, for Nollywood industry. When I say veteran, I know the kind they talk of. Because before I hype anybody, then I miss that person water. Ladies and gentlemen, we get beautiful. Now, Angel, sorry, I said, I say Angel just now. Yes, now, Angel. He will say, she called dress. I talk as possible. No one makes you your mole. You know, they're too hype. They hype person too much now. You come, buddy. You will help me welcome Caroline. 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 Some of them are good. They think, say, which Caroline be that? Which Caroline be that? Caroline Hutchins, a Nollywood actress, and also a veteran for the industry. In fact, now they start the industry, and they still did the industry, they pioneer them. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the beautiful Caroline. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Your voice alone, eh? It'd be like prayer point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Say thank you again. Thank you very much. Amen. <laughs> you feel like confirmation. <laughs> but uh, get one thing I want to ask you before we start to the talk. Mm -hmm. You feel to say no wahala. No wahala. No shaking. No shaking. Two legs on the ground. Two legs on the ground. <laughs> we day on top of Azobia Max TV. We day on top of Azobia Max TV. The Good Morning Ninja Show Extra. Not the Good Morning, no. Good, good Morning. Okay, good the morning. Good Morning Ninja Show Extra. Confirm. <laughs> you did it. Thank you. <laughs> you be Nigeria. You be Nigerian. <laughs> but you're, very, you're welcome. Make her welcome you, Oma. Thank you You're welcome to, to our beautiful Azobia Max TV. This is now the Good Morning Ninja Show Extra. Thank you. Today, we want to look something. We want to look... Unveiling the world of investment in Nollywood. Especially, we want to check our eye for the production side too. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. want to unveil the world of Nollywood. And you, now the epitome SI unit of Nollywood, you not get the way they want to put Nollywood for somewhere, say your face not go show too. Because now, now start this thing, granted, when it don't reach this level, that is there for Netflix, <laughs> Amazon, <laughs> Prime, and the rest of them. Sure. Going somewhere, wow. Now, make we just take the journey back, they come. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would like to ask you, what to be the experience so far, evolving from, from where it starts, from the analog age? Now, you don't creep enter the technological age. So, what do you see about him? How you see him? The growth is amazing, I know if you lie. The growth has been wonderful. As at the time where we start, where I start in 2004, mm. I remember we were using normal camera, normal Nikon camera with one tripod. Mm. The heat for the room that time, eh? you know if you even breathe, <laughs> because at the end of the day, you go get like maybe four lights, very big lights, we go there on top of your face, mm. no filter, nothing. And then at there and then they go to do editing. Wow. So that's the reason why when you watch our movie back then, you go to see, say, the grading, grading node, everything just they white. Like my complexion right now, they resemble albino sometimes for TV. And then the makeup and the hair, the script writing was very good. The storyline was very, very good. But the makeup, the hair, other factors. Then you go to hear generator sound because oh, we they manage the manage, uh, yeah. we know Sabi sound system that time. She mm. understand. Then our soundtrack, you remember our soundtrack? Mm. We go tell you all the story before <laughs> you even finish the movie. So starting from there to now, it has been an amazing transportation and trans transformation, including distribution. As at then, you know, say, marketers, they run industry. They run arm. Mm. And na CD with the print at that time. You mm. go print CD before you even release your movie. Person don't print one million copies. Mm. Sell them. But right now, you have Netflix, you have YouTube. If you know yeah. one Netflix mm -hmm. or YouTube, mm -hmm. um, or Amazon or Prime, or even African Magic M. If you open your own YouTube channel, they make your own money from there. The more viewers you get, YouTube will pay you money for that. Mm. Do you understand? So, mm. The, the transition has been amazing. The sound effects right now, amazing. The grading, amazing. The script writing, phenomenal. The acting. In short, everybody is now more comfortable in their character as well. Now, looking at the journey so far, mm -hmm. what would be that thing where you go pinpoint, say, now this thing, now really bring about that evolution, that, that evolving from that level, come enter, this new age, we will not say technology play a very large yes, role. Yes, yes. Which other factor you think say play a large role? Demand. Demand for quality movies played a very large role. Mm. So we started having young minds, Western minds, that wanted, that saw us as a competition with the Western world and even India. Mm. As of now, Nigeria is the second largest producing filmmaking industry in the world. We don't beat Bollywood. I don't say Bollywood at a time. No, Bollywood, Bollywood, Bollywood see they, they, they see they produce one billion movies. <laughs> they see they produce, they are, I think they are the number one, but we are number two. We produce two, at least 2,000 or more than 2,000 movies in a year annually. And the demand for quality movies was what prompted us to open film schools, to start going to film schools, was what mm -hmm. brought in the new generation actors and actresses that have been to the film school, and then was what prompted um, people who have been to film school for directing, directing yeah. sound, um, sound engineer, yes, engineer sound. lighting engineers, was what brought in these people into the industry. So it's an additional advantage to us. Oh. And literally that is the other change. Now, you talk about Bollywood being number one. I know mm -hmm. right from ages when I was young, everybody, mm -hmm. all of mm -hmm. us now. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. Indian movie we mm -hmm. carry for her that year. Mm -hmm. This, this very statistics now based on quality or quantity. Quantity. Oh, now the statistic now based, based on, on quantity. quantity. Now based okay. on quantity. When you, call, when you talk of quality, Hollywood, you can't put Hollywood out of it. But, it's quantity, but, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I would, doing a comparison between the Bollywood industry and the Nollywood industry, which one you could say based on quality? 
there are some no, um, Bollywood movies that when you see, you know that they are in the Hollywood standard. standard. But I still want to give kudos to Nigerian movie industry. We are working hard to meet that standard, and we are doing so well. That's the reason why you have the international industry, which is Hollywood as well, taking stories you know, mm -hmm. from us, using our actors as well, working with our management team, working with our team as well, because our standards has really gone really high. And you have investors now coming into Nigeria. They want to be a part of mm, Nollywood. Talking because about investors, I want to really dive into that one. Where do you think say be the key, the key stage where investors that they critical? All the stages. All. I wouldn't pick one stage because I'd be film producer myself. Mm. Now, if your script's no good, which is part of the pre-production, mm. you cannot have a good storyline. So if you know work with person, if you write your storyline properly, where fit interprets, waiting actors suppose act characterization and all that, the movie will not be good. Now, pre-production also involves your cameraman. Mm -hmm. Also involves who are you going to choose as a management team? Who are you going to choose as a legal team? Do you understand? So if you know gather all these people, we get A class for this field, mm -hmm. you don't feel be that. So mm -hmm. right from pre-production, it is important. Then production itself, as you are shooting the movie, just like as we did right now, if you don't get the right team, you know, go people put this thing on to, uh, for TV. Do you understand? Mm, of course. So during the production, you must make sure that every scene is done properly. Then post-production, where everybody thinks says that post-production will be like the finishing of a building. Mm -hmm. When you finish building, they feel say, oh, now the finish, you go make the building the fine. Fittings. But at the end of the day, the foundation no good. How mm. the finishing go they fine? After a while, the house go fall down now. Of course. So post-production happens to be the last, where everybody thinks, and now where the money supposed to be there. But no, the money supposed to be from the pre-production. Mm -hmm. Can't go up to distribution time. Do you understand? So post-production, you have the grading moments, the editing, the sound effects, the 3D effects or 4D effects. But mm -hmm. in all of this, investor must invest from starts to finish, even okay. up to distribution. Make we look the even invest, PR. Make we look the invest the investment model, then now, now, what will be the various approach you think, say, investors fit take in Hollywood? Now, maybe first of all, identify the type of investor. Mm -hmm. We have the active, we have the passive. Oh, we have different kinds of yes, investors. Yes, so we get the Bring active, we get the active, we get the passive. The active investor, like myself, where I get production company already, okay. I don't produce two award-winning movies. I they active for inside film industry. So I understand the dynamics of the film industry, I understand the risk involved. You know, sometimes if we shoot a movie, we don't go make money. Mm -hmm. That the passion they drive us. But now that those kind of things don't change because for you to be able to get into a production, you must have the right plan, the right business plan from start to finish. Now the passive investor, now that one we get money, we just say, okay, I like this industry. May I carry my money to put for inside the industry? Now the passive I'm investor with that again. exactly. So the model way investor fit follow based on my i could just pick three out of them now first of all the income mm -hmm. income model then you have the growth and then you have the momentum the income one we say wait if you bring you money on a daily basis for this your production house for instance i sure say when i get waiting if you bring you money on a daily basis mm -hmm. if you rent out equipment we get so many people where they shoot if they shoot 20 and um, 2000 movies in lagos alone your equipment go day busy of course, of course. If you get editors, for instance, editing departments, or yes, basically editing or grading department, you go there fully booked because everybody mm. won't edit for Nigeria instead of taking it abroad. So that is an income investment. Then you talk about the growth investment. For people who will be passive, go, go in, um, invest in production companies. Do you understand? Where they produce movies on a yearly basis, invest in them like you have, like myself, Kunle Afolayo, Chichiwe Du Shanti Town, you have um, Funka Kindele, you have Tonya Imako. If it's invest in their production company, knowing fully well that, okay, did they produce good movies, whether not comedy, whether not drama all the time, then you have the momentum. The momentum, you go key into people, into production, na na na, as a passive investors say, ah, you get one movie, maybe blockbuster, they don't do part one. They, maybe the part two, go big past part one, like King of Boys, for instance. Mm -hmm. That is the momentum, mm -hmm. uh, momentum investment. So that is, those are the only three models where I fit advice. Make we balance, um, we balance art and commerce. 
for inside this matter. Now, how, how you think, say, um, investors feel navigate creative decisions during production? Mm, by having the right set of team. There are different stages of making decisions in an investment. Mm -hmm. For you to get into investment in arts, to balance it with the commerce, in, like in the corporate world, for instance, for as an investor to invest in the corporate world, they mm. follow, there is like a project management uh, model. Mm -hmm. You start from the script writing, you start from the pre-production, you go to the post-production, no, you start from the pre-production, you go to legal, from legal, get your paperwork done. You actually um, also look around to understand the management team. You look at the producer. Do they have a good reputation for making movies? You look at other competitive movies as well. What have they been making annually as well? Mm -hmm. Based on the scripts that is being written. You also look at the distribution channel. You also look at the post-production team. Where are you going to be doing your post-production? What sort of reputation do they have? Do they have a good reputation? Have they been giving out good product at the end of the day? So when you look at all of these things, and you have the right business model, you're definitely going to meet up with whatever it is. I mean, I really want me we, we dissect the, the investors' area affairs before we go enter mm -hmm. other part. Okay. Now, still looking at the investors, make we look at the potential gains and challenges mm -hmm. for investors for inside Nollywood. Mm -hmm. The gains and the challenges. Let me talk about the gains first. Yeah, just, because if I get more green ass, I won't put inside the business. I'm going to fear first. So as I sit down for here right now, I am also an investor. Okay. Thank God. So you get, you, you'll be embodiment <laughs> yes, of everything yes. inside so, Hollywood. So you did it. You get right. one movie where I just mm. invest in. This was last year. In a Netflix movie, by the grace of God. And the movie cost us about 350 million naira to shoot. No, we may be the only executive producer. We are like four mm -hmm. in it. But now our money we take invest mm. because the scripts they good, and the person we uh, we bring us into the investment team, she don't produce award winning movies already. So mm. we sure say this one in another banger. Now the gain of investing in Nollywood, as at twenty twenty one, when it comes to the GDP, Nollywood. Um, added to the growth of the um, GDP by 2.3 percent, 660 million dollars. Mm -hmm. So, as an investor, you're looking at, you're thinking of the money. Mm -hmm. Then, annually, Nollywood makes 1.2 billion dollars. So, 1.2 billion billion naira, sorry, annually. And then, um, in total, in total, we're looking that we're looking at it that before. Maybe next year, by next year or next two years, Nollywood should be hitting $1 billion. Wouldn't you want to be a part of that? Not talking about what we go make government <laughs> beam their, their <laughs> light on and they tax everything. No, more no from government don't they tax us. Or they pay tax. As I did like this, I did pay my LIRS. Yeah, we will come to all those FIRS. other parts. We will come to you, those, you need those to government be, policies on Nollywood. You need to be a good citizen. So mm -hmm. for you to be an investor, all your books have to be balanced. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you want to go call a loan from banks and you want to shoot movie, bank will ask you for all those things. If you want to go call a loan from government, because government they give loan as well to shoot You don't movie. even come out my next question out of my mouth already. Uh -huh. So my, my finish up Yeah, just, uh, I never just land that first though. one, you be okay, the top. Okay. Uh, uh, with the so the gain about shooting in Hollywood is that you would make money if you produce a good movie and you plan well. Everything about success in life is planning. planning. If you don't plan well and you say, let me just rush, let me just rush, you go lose money. The challenges concern about Nollywood is in every business, there is a risk. In every business, in oil and gas, there is a risk. Mm -hmm. In real estate, there is a If you build house, finish, because of one person, we're not doing job, where house will collapse. Of course. You as a developer go carry all the blame because they go talk say you know look from start to finish because mm. one person you give them full money to buy quality products you go cut corners and you know no mm. do you understand house go collapse kill people do you understand so there is a risk in it. even for flying self sometimes there is risk as a pilot mm. there is a risk in every business mm. but if you plan well if you plan very well before you even proceed on that project you would avoid some percentage of that risk. The risk in Nollywood is that if you shoot movie finish, you no see the money again. I don't shoot one movie where I no see. I spent 20 million naira that was back then. Now only one million naira I see. 
and I still had to reinvest the money. Do you understand? Some people don't shoot movie. We then shoot movie maybe with 100 million naira. They recoup almost 300 million naira. Mm. AY did successfully well. Um, Kemi Adetiba did successfully well. The marketers, they made money. Tonya Imako did well. Funke Akindele, they did well as well. So every business has a risk, but Nollywood is the money-making machine that you need to tap into. Wow. Nollywood, <laughs> now the money-making machine where you need yes. to tap into. Yes. Me, I see the reason we I want to tap into Nollywood. But then we still there on top of the matter with the beautiful Caroline. But we just go this small chickily break. When we come back, we still there on top of the matter. I believe so there we go dive, enter, within be the possibilities. Um, whether government really open up space, most, most especially banks and the likes. Whether they, they give the creative industry enough akpala akpala. That now wait we go ask if we come back. So not go anywhere. The soup, just the arrange with the show back. Welcome back again. We still sit down on top. The Good Morning Ninja Show Extra. And now on top of Azobia Max TV. Now there, now we bring a call, give you life and direct. Not even think as if say you go anywhere. Because the moment you step, you don't miss. Leave the button. The remote control for where they are. They always talk and spoil the remote control for there so that you don't feel change them again. So they where you did. My name is Sirman Ochuko. Oh, Miragua. And I still there with the beautiful um, lady all the way from Nollywood embodiment short. She be everything on top of Nollywood. <laughs> they act, produce, everything in short if you think on top of Nollywood. Caroline, this is your, your second name. I like the name well. well. Mm -mm, my father's name. Achen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Scot now, American name might be Scottish. Scottish name. Scottish name. Yes, Scottish. Achen. Yes. Yes, Scottish name. Nice name. Thank you. you. you you're not to look like full breeded Nigeria, really. No, I know before. Um, no, I'm not. They're born you for Nigeria. No, 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 no. But At my what mother, age you enter Nigeria? Five years. Five years? Yes. So, you they go, they come. And they go, they come. But I like Nigeria. When you want to shoot a movie where it would be like, if they depict the culture of Scotland and Nigeria, blend them together. Mm, I don't, may I blend waiting? Nigeria culture. And uh -huh. the culture of Scotland try to blend them together to make a movie. Have you never seen Carissa? Uh, well, I never really. Okay, go think, I'm I don't, I go, you don't you, give me one storyline. Holy spirit, do not give us you something. <laughs> hey. Now the, the problem is, now go play the Scottish man. Then then now your cousin there for your papa side. Your brain your bring one major weird skirt carrying that flute. <laughs> no. It's okay. Anyway, um, we day happy say, yeah, Nollywood ago. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still there on top of the show. And today we talk about unveiling the world, the world of investment in Nollywood production. That might be the matter we did. Took our eye, put the look today with the beautiful Caroline Orchin for the house. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Give up. I never even thank you, yourself. Thank you for your time again. Thank you. No, easy. I like. Somebody will be say once you give the person time, bam, you don't show. <laughs> Hi, how do people of your status they go they call? Um, Why they be like that self for Nigeria self? Why? Um, you, you, you they roll with some of them now. So so why some of them just be like that? Say that Nigeria factor must play for their head. Well, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know punctuality because I'm co uh, they come from corporate world as well. Mm. I work in a corporate world, uh -huh. even to now. So punctuality is the key factor of a responsible person and also a leader, like you had said earlier on. So you must always be punctual. Even though you go miss big deals, I, I you, know, you go miss opportunity. Your, the orientation you get, not be a full-fledged Nigerian <laughs> quote and unquote star. <laughs> I'm a star now. Because most of them, that thing, they not just get that cut. I did keep to time well, well. I did keep to time well. Thank you. Thank you. Now, strong virtue, you, you really you. need to keep. Thank you very much. Now, make we look um, the the industry right now. It don't be multi-million mm -hmm. naira industry. You break down the statistics of how akpala akpala are they inside the, the industry right now. 
when we talk about investors, I want to open them up to corporate investors. Mm -hmm. How dare they support the industry, Pat? Because you talk like two movies, now your personal money. And for the West, you hardly see one person just bring the personal money. Everything is, is mm -hmm. tied to the system. The government mm -hmm. always they open up all those space and all that. We know that at the time, the before mm -hmm. before government, good luck, Jonathan. He mm. promised some money when he mm. won't put inside the industry. But so far, so good. Alpha, the corporate investors, um, the banks, and, and the so likes. So this topic, now macro topic, no be even micro. <laughs> because, you see, the, we thank God say we get guilds. We get actors' guilds. Mm -hmm. We function very well right now under the presidency of um, Mr. President Emma Carolers. Okay. We also get the production, the producers guild as well. So a lot of policies, they, they mm. put a lot of policies together to to ensure that the industry as a whole, say, they fit perceive them as a money making machine. Because, like you be investor, I won't give example. Talk to mm -hmm. you as an investor. If I not give you statistics, show you potential, show you say if fit invest this capital, get this ROI. You no go really understand what's in the happen. You no, go just course. see the industry as one. Um, place where they show, shoot shabby movies. The industry is made up of as Saba, and you have the other sector where you have the Netflix, Amazon mm -hmm. Prime kind of movies. The likes, yeah. Now, the as Saba movies actually focuses more on quantity, but they are doing absolutely well because they have a market for that. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Netflix, Amazon Prime movies that is focused more on quality and they have their own markets for that. What we are trying to do in the industry right now is to hold seminars and workshops for stakeholders, for investors, for actors, potential actors and actresses and existing actors and actresses for you to see the numbers, the statistics. They've been having it for a while though, mm -hmm. but it's not really been a loud seminar and summits for people to really come and you know be a part of it to understand that this industry is actually making a lot of money. But a few banks have been supportive. A few banks have invested in productions. The only problem that we have- We support now based on, you know me, I know you, not be because of say there's a system in place that so supports creatives. So to be fair to Nollywood is actually more like know me, know I, me know I know you. Know me, I know you, okay. Know me, I know you, to be fair. Forgetting that without looking at the bigger picture, that there is an industry that has raw exactly. talent yes. that can make money. Mm -hmm. The talent in the industry, right? That's why you have people from abroad coming into Nigeria to tap into this talent. But guess what? They are not actually giving back to the industry what they truly deserve. So, wait, when you say they're not, they give back to the industry the way they, they rightfully deserve. Now, the thought of those people where they put, when they look internally into Nigeria industry, or na na the structure. Okay, let me break it down. Get for Nigeria as a producer, here, is it's um how will I put it? Let me just break it down from an investor's point of view and a mm -hmm. producer. For instance, I go to the bank in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want to produce a movie, and I have been banking with that bank for ten years. Mm -hmm. Forget about me knowing anybody. I don't even need to know anyone. The moment my business plan is amazing, and you see that it is an amazing business plan, there's potential in it. Even if you not give me the 100% of the funds, at least there should be some form of support. Mm -hmm. But you see, you now scare me away with your interest rates. Mm. You want to give me 100 million now to produce a movie, but you want to charge me 25% annually. Mm. How do I make my money back? I'm literally working for you. Do you understand? But the other investors abroad that will create a platform for me would come to me and dangle carrots in front of me. I would have to jump on it. Do you understand? So I the value of that. my production and my talent, I would have to give it out for peanuts because I am in an environment that is not enabling enough. So in other words, the government never really they give the Yes. The, the utmost support yes. is supposed to Re give to the yes. creative industry yes. Yes. in Nigeria. Yes. And, and I would not really blame the government completely. Why? It's because they don't understand the statistics 
and also they have they don't understand that um, Nollywood has really been adding a lot to the growth of the economy, both financially, both um, economically, both um, giving job employment as well. A lot of the students we have in Nigeria. So now, so now not the push. Now they push the demand where for government to really say, okay, yes, I want to look this creative industry now. We they push. That's why I'm even here. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I don't leave my work. Come here, come sit down with you to explain investments <laughs> and reason why they should invest. We don't they push even during the time of Jonathan. Then don't push, push, push. Thank God, God bless uh, Madame Patience. She she really loved Nollywood very well. Mm -hmm. She supported a few producers. God bless her. Now wait and like about her be that. But we don't push. It can't be like, say, I know, I know you won't understand. It can't be like, say, the only time they want, they just notice us now when they won't give us more, more five, five million now. But they are missing the points, investor, both investors and government. Nollywood provides job opportunities, provides avenues to, um, to train people that don't want to, that don't have jobs, that have mm. left school, that don't have school fees. We mm. train them, we bring out the talent in them, whether you be musician, whether you be artist, or whether mm. you be sound engineer, we train you. Another thing we say, when you look at the volume that we make when it comes to finances, $660 million, that is what Nollywood is worth right now, and is hitting $1 billion. Then you now have at least about, sorry, about $1.2 billion about 1.2 billion if not more than that every annually mm -hmm. and we are dishing out 2000 movies there is an avenue for you to make more money from it but anytime you mention nollywood to a few people most of the people in government they go like oh they shoot shabby movies even some of the people that are watching you say oh we are shooting shabby movies but we are making money and we're making money for the country as well, we are paying taxes. I pay my tax in full. A lot of Nollywood people pay tax. In short, in Nollywood as well, we insist that you pay your tax. We have HMOs, we have insurance, we have all of these things. Insurance company can make money from the insurance. The as HMO well. now just most recently, Luna started the HMO. We don't they do HMO since so. a lot of no, Nollywood. No, funny actors, enough, we, we don't they do them. Fall Hill, and the next two will see them. They, mm. they, not that is bad. Mm. Man, not talker like mm. saying the bad light. No, we say that the the request for funds May I explain to just that support part? the HMO day suppose don't take care of that part. No, no, no. If you know Is it if, you, if you are not the, registered uh, as an actor in Nigeria, how would you have the benefits of So a insurance? lot of them not register. They Even don't register. They don't blow, so they're not still they register. They don't blow, they they not still register. They don't want to register. Some Gen Z or some people, may I not talk Gen Z because Miss Abby Gen Z, forget. Some people <laughs> We they we they evolve. Your face not Gen Z, but your yes. age not be Gen Z. I beg Again. we they evolve. Leave me. So some people eh, for Nigeria yeah. for Actors Guild for not Actors Guild for people where where they act they not to believe for Actors Guild. If you tell them about Actors Guild, is it that their management could tell them say I bet leave that Actors Guild now mm. veterans they there, or their colleagues go tell them say I bet what did they find for Actors Guild? But you see in Actors Guild if you get problem for industry in Actors Guild they stand up for you. If you get they sick, now actors guild they go call. If anything happens to you where you want visa or where you want travel or where you want day nominated you abroad, fall back to actors now guild. actors guild. Let me ask you one direct question. Mm -hmm. Cooperation day this year, industry between all the sectors, you talk Asaba, you talk better cooperation day on as soon as ever as one. I won't ask you another question. I will go ask you my own question now. No, answer my own. They ask me your own. I won't ask you because my own I question go answer question. your own first. <laughs> your own. Get my ear your own In first. a group of five people, cooperation did they? It depends on what the, the price where they are ahead of them. It depends on what they, they see. If they get what they, all, all of them they see, then that, now that thing no matter will be how, the, mm -hmm. the, the end point for all of them. Not because they get like minds too. But that thing will be the end no point. So, so waiting the actors get pull for front will make everybody go see and say, yes, now nah, y'all of us must. Actor Guild person. don't put so many things in front. You know, say, it gets one time where I know the industry, they take care of my family. But for me to come back, say, I won't be part of the industry fully. Nobody said they act all the time. Mm -hmm. The last time where I act, where they show my movie now, I think last year or so, since then, but I did fully for inside the industry. Why be say it is guided by policies? Okay, make I ever ask you straight up. 
What will be the new things you now, now your regime mm -hmm. now in the now? Mm -hmm. What will be that new thing you want to do to, to push the industry, go the next level, and to let some of the Gen Z you talk about mm -hmm. see the relevance to be part of the actors guild and all that? For them to say and say, no, this is a new era. We need to do things accordingly. The other day, the yeah, Hollywood stars, that even the, the protest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come? How come you know they feel corporate in one front? Say no, this you know thing not gonna happen like this. We, so why not feel they like that for you? Some people are hungry. I have to be very blunt. <laughs> some people are hungry. I've been saying. I, I say this. We all talk about this. Now, we are in an industry whereby there's no unity to some form of, in some form of extent, to an extent. Sorry, to an extent. So when the presidents and the stakeholders create rules and regulations to actually protect the actor, some actors will go behind and break the rules and regulations. And these are mostly people that are not registered under the Actors Guild of Nigeria. They go behind to break the rule because they want rules. May we press P for them first, more <laughs> pause for them. You go tell us the way Una go to make those people start to see these guiders big now as different, rebranded, we go make them one come join. No problem. Because you're not going to just throw them out like that. I get what they see, we make them no one join. Maybe you guys <laughs> to tell us. Anyway, we show my people. When I don't see and say with all the young reach the level when he be say, he don't tie better rapper, we are big gay lady, cock, cock. <laughs> Then we will just jump at our small shiki break. When we come back, now to wrap them up. Nothing can say you to go anywhere because we pin like pin our for you. We the show back. <laughs> Welcome back again. My papa say when it better for fisherman, na padu, it take the wave with friends, bye bye. Me, I no go wave on a baba, I still day ye. Make all of us shop the fish together. But then again, we still pin on top the Good Morning Ninja show. This one, now the extra edition, now extra with the holidays they put on. On top was Zobia Max TV. Now for here, we they tell you things and things since we be say, you not go hear them anywhere. We go dig and down till when you call hear them the way you never hear them before. We now understand that's how they talk. Huh? But then again, we still there inside the studio with our old bonger guests, Caroline. Hutchins, still in the house here with us. <laughs> and we they talk about unveiling the world of investment for inside Nollywood production. That might be waiting with the chuk our eye put. In case you just they join us, my brother, you don't miss where we're not gonna say no, you never miss or you don't miss where we. But I go you say me, you go watch and again for other of our platforms on social media, you can still see everything for there. But then again, we don't talk plenty, plenty. We want to chuck our mat for another matter. Um, Caroline, we, now make we look um, collaborations. Mm -hmm. Talking about the impact of international partnership, how global collaborations they don't they don't help support Nollywood for inside our Obodo Nigeria. Yeah. To be, to be sincere, I'm very happy about the global partnership from Netflix to Amazon. To, um, to African Magic that started with us, and even the YouTube. Mm -hmm. In as much as I expect, say, make we start to make the money where we deserve. Yeah, they always hit that pattern. I Thank think. you, I won't even talk about dangly carrot. Because this yes, one, they're not maybe the carrot, they say they the dango too. Maybe start today, maybe, because most of our movies better pass our, the movies where they pay for other African countries, or even Bollywood, but they pay them more, pass us. Do you understand? Why do um, like that? Now, our bargaining power can be our policies. When it comes to bargaining so power, a lot of us have negotiation skills. Because you go say, now see the hungry. Yes, now the hungry. So once you just see that carrot, they rush and quick, quick. No, 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 not be that. We there for industry, we say, you see, make I use music industry as an example. You see, it gets one time where we say, Whiskey, the certain okay, a certain artist, a, a list artist saying no go collect XYZ amount of money again, saying don't up in price. You know, say for stage performance, the moment that artist talk that one, another A list artist go talk saying no the 
perform. So you must meet that price. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Everybody go just they up their price, up their price, up their price. Before you know, they come, they enter management team. Come, they go Grammys. But you see, in Nollywood, now, the reverse be the case. If I come out now and say my movie now, $1 billion, another colleague of mine where they laugh, we say, ah, Omo, now $1 billion I beat these people will come behind me. Go there and say, I get movie. Mm. If you pay me two naira, do you understand? Mm. So at the end of the day, instead of moving forward with our pricing, with a lot of things that could affect the quality of our production, you have people pulling us down. So that unity you were talking about is very important. Nollywood can, should actually be the forefront of the entertainment industry. There was a time that Genevieve was seen as, she's still seen as a goddess of the screen, including uh, Omotala. When you see actors and actresses, you'll be screaming, shouting on the road. Mm. Now, it'd be like, say, they don't see us finish. Man, no lie you. I'm actually, I'm a very blunt person because it affects, there are a lot of things that we want to achieve as an Actors Guild of Nigeria, as a producer and Producers Guild of Nigeria. There are lots of things, but we cannot achieve all of those things because of some people that don't know their worth and their value. And they are just the ones bringing down the whole system. If we cannot come together, listen to our presidents, the ones that are leading, the stakeholders, how we want to un unify this industry, how we want to move forward. When people come, when global investors come to Nigeria, they are the ones that are supposed to be looking for us and not we looking for them. So why we try to unanimously come together to add value to the industry? You have people going behind to go and sell their talent and their production for peanuts. So at this point in time, there was a certain company, I'm not going to mention the name, that used to pay dollars they will pay a lot of money for you to bring your movie to them from that dollars they started paying naira from naira they had a cartel which involved some nigerian producers and actors now you literally have to know who is who in that cartel for them to take your movie and show on their on their station or on their platform and that is what we are facing till today musicians are one Comedians are one. I think um, actors, painters are one. But the actors' industry are not one. Mm -hmm. And until we come together, we know our worth, we, sh you know, we sell our talent for what it is worth, we sell our production for what it is worth, the industry will keep going back and forth. And investors will keep questioning if they should invest or not. But is it an amazing place to invest in with the right management team, with the right production team? It is a money-making machine. Talking about investment, how would it be the future of investment in Hollywood, trend and prospect? The future of investment in Hollywood is booming. Actually, it's really, really booming. There are things I would like investors and government to tap into. Modular cinemas, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be five holes. You can have two holes or three. You can also have, um, we can also have our platforms as well. Just like you have Netflix and Amazon, we can have our platforms where we can showcase our movies and encourage producers and actors as well. We have royalties, the same way um, actors and um, musicians are making money from royalties. The artists as well can make money from royalties. And then the government can look into how to be part of the royalties if they want maybe tax, through taxation mm. and all of those things. And companies that are interested in CSL, which is uh, your social responsibility, your corporate social responsibility, can also tap into Nollywood and provide employment. Provide employment to the mama that is selling fried fish. Mm -hmm. She can become an actress and make money. Provide employment to that boy that is pushing wheelbarrow after university. You can provide um, employment for him as well. Create schools, acting schools, schools that teaches you um, about um, sound effects, um, grading, post-production, even pre-production, script writing. We have a school that was set up by Stephanie's husband. I think it was supposed to be Del, 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 Del York. It was 
a beautiful, amazing project that I felt, okay, the government and other investors should have really tapped into. But I don't really hear so much about it. It's still there, but it should, it should be like a university now. And that is what we are not really tapping sure into it's Nigeria. Still there? Uh, it's still there, I, I think. Really about that. I think I saw it in, in VI. Because of is still there. time constraint, eh, mm -hmm. I, I would just like to know what in all these film festivals and all mm -hmm. that. Film festival. How I tell you, help the Nollywood industry? It helps for global um, awareness. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, film festivals, you, you are able to meet investors. When you showcase your movies through in film festivals, you have the potential to meet investors. So as someone who is looking to close deals, who is looking for a next investor for my next movie project, mm. when you take your pro um, projects to film festivals, it creates a recognition, awareness, global awareness. And you have actors, producers, directors, investors who also want to partner with you. So it's a very good... Before good now, like you talk, the, the marketers then that they hold mm -hmm. that they hold the old industry piracy was mm -hmm. on the rise but right now you don't go into the digital space mm -hmm. how now they cope with with piracy online um, and in the digital space piracy has reduced drastically because right now like some some producers for industry when they shoot their movie the first thing they do sometimes they go take and go cinema like film one or silver bed, take and go cinema. From cinema, they feel take and go Netflix. So it really reduces, before you can even pirate their movie, mm. they don't make their money. Do you understand? They have made their money. So it's, it reduces all that. You can't really record movie unless you are holding your phone. You can't do that in the cinema. And for Netflix, you know if you just record movie for television unless you do hold your phone. So it reduces quite a lot and mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing. Being the director for for investment in Nollywood, mm -hmm. what thing you want to do differently? Because now, now sit down on top now, now, now sit down for the share. What thing, this your regime, what thing I want to do differently to make the, the industry more attractive, most in particular, to make the Gen Z see now as the, the big brother where they're going to learn from and register on that? Well, for the Gen Zs, I would, looking at me right now, mm. if the Actors Guild of Nigeria mm -hmm. does not have strong policies or policies that are beneficial to me, I will not be a part of it. I'm a very blunt woman. If I am in a group, with a group of people and their values does not add to my own value, I will not be a part of them. As you can see, I don't look helpless. I don't look hungry. I am very much okay. And for me to be identified with Nollywood till today and with the Actors Guild of Nigeria, it shows that I am gaining from that guild. I am gaining when it comes to my HMO. I am gaining when it comes to education. I am gaining when it comes to experience, networking as well. I'm gaining quite a lot. And they are growing. They have, they're making, when code of conduct, um, right now, the um, stakeholders and the president has been working on conduct on sets that will be beneficial to the actors. So before, if you were acting for 20 hours, mm. we are looking into that because it affects the health. If you were not, we are looking into that to reduce that. If you were acting and you were not being given a good welfare, we are also looking into that mm -hmm. as well. So you see, when you're part of the guild, they look after you. And because they've been looking after people and they want to keep looking after people, that's why I'm a part of it. The In 10 seconds, waiting, waiting we need to know about the, the new rebranded Actors Guild, because you'll be pioneer there now. <laughs> the new rebranded Actors Guild... What do we need to know about them? ...is an investment guaranteed Actors Guild. Okay. So your talent is an investment. Mm-hmm. And your investment is guaranteed if you're part of the Actors Guild. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Caroline Elchin. Thank now you. Now she be the director of Inve director for investment, Nollywood. Thank you for your Thank time you when you give much. us today. Thank we you. Sincerely, from the depth of our heart, we appreciate you. Thank we you. We appreciate you. Thank anyway, you. my people, now don't say as you go. I believe say so you don't learn plenty, plenty. You will be saying you did aspire, you did think calm for your mind. Say you want to be actor, actress, oh yeah, fire that may you go register. 
then I cannot know how to take give you Roshab, but then again, <laughs> follow the right way. Anyway, I'm very happy for John the Cutting. My name still remain Ochuko Omiragua. I still remain the man who say maybe like that for national peace, equity, and justice to reign. We go block again, not even think I'm without discharge. <laughs>